Okay, I'm back and I wanted to do a review on this case that I've been using for the last you know, three or four days and it's the Peak Design Everyday Case that I've got for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I have my iPhone 14 Pro Max here in the space black color. So I'll pop it in the case so throughout this video you guys can see what it looks like. And this is in their Sage color. So Peak Design as a brand, um, I have a lot of their camera gear. I use their uh, capture clip. I have a couple of their bags. They're one of their duffel bags also in the sage color. So uh, it's basically the same color as that and I am a fan. Typically I use Apple's leather cases. Uh, this year I had gotten both the umber case and this orange case and originally when I unboxed the orange case I thought man this thing is really bright but to be honest, the orange case, the orange leather case has really grown on me. I think the contrast between the space black and the orange is pretty nice. The brightness is not really bothering me as much now. And I think the case actually is getting a little darker the way the leather patina. So that's part of the reason why I like the leather cases. I think they feel, out of all cases, they feel the best in the hand because the leather material itself is a little more warm and organic. The buttons are really clicky and it's typically a very slim case. So I took a chance on Peak Design's case because of this nifty little feature that Peak Design put in and that they call their Slim Link. Um, so this is a mechanical area where you can clip into accessories. So I went ahead and got a upfront bike mount. Now I'm not really a daily cyclist or a heavy biker and stuff, but um, I do like having my phone mounted on my bike on the occasions that I do. And this is really cool. And to me, this is like peak design at its best. Some of their stuff is, you know, kind of over-engineered, but what they did with this is really cool because they managed to keep the case very thin and streamlined. So that was that would have been one of my concerns and turned off it was, if it was like a big bulky case. But if you look at the case side by side with the Apple leather case, it's basically the same thickness to my eyes. It doesn't add any thickness, which is pretty incredible. Oops, I knocked out my cat over here. Um, it's pretty incredible. So, you know, Peak Design have somehow used the Z space. I'm guessing the space where you need in the case for the magnets anyway, that, that little thickness. And they put a little cutout with this, um, I think the material is zirconium. Uh, I have to look on their website. Uh, it's some material uh, that has like a periodic table of elements kind of name. I think it's zirconium, but uh, it's supposed to be more durable than plastic. And in the little bit that I played with it, with the bike mount, it feels very durable. The magnets are strong. Uh, the cutouts are also very precise, so I'll just show around the case a little bit. So the camera cutout is really precise. And similar to this, this little cutout over here, Peak Design have little thoughtful touches. I'm not sure if this is intentional, but over here at the bottom of the camera cutout, the protruding ring is uh, open over here so your finger can slide through there. So what happens is when I'm using my phone, typically use my phone in my left hand, my finger doesn't run into the edge of the camera. With the, with the Apple cases, I, you know, I guess I'm in the habit of resting it there on that lip, but over here, you know, your finger can just rest on that cutout. Seem, seems really nice. Uh, everything is made uh, up to what I would say is like the highest standards. All the cutouts are very smooth and precise. Uh, the buttons feel pretty uh, clicky. Now they're not as clicky as the Apple buttons, the Apple aluminum buttons on the leather case, but they have a nice damp kind of click to them. They feel nice to press. Um, so no complaints about the buttons, the mute switch cutout, it's wide enough right there. I just got my entire thumb in it to be able to to be able to click it. Um, it has a very soft lip, so the edges of the case don't come out too much on the phone, which I prefer. I don't want it to kind of stick out. It also means from the bottom when you're swiping up on the iPhone to to move around the UI, your fingers don't catch on anything, which I like. Um, yeah, I mean overall, I'm very impressed with the the fit and finish. Uh, it is Peak Design calls a polycarbonate body. So the sides are uh, that kind of a polycarbonate, kind of a plasticky, but has a little bit of like a rubberiness kind of feel, but they're not soft and flimsy. I find a lot of uh, third party cases, TPU cases are very soft and, and flimsy on the edges, but this case has some structure, but it's still really easy to get in and out. 
So a lot of nice little attention to details. The magnets, of course, are there for the uh, for all of your MagSafe accessories in addition to the Slim Link connection uh, holes. So you have options on how to connect. So all the MagSafe accessories work. The magnets are pretty strong. Uh, to the bike mount, the magnets just pull the phone right to it and want to you know want to connect right away. Um, small things that I noticed is that the camera uh, the camera housing. Uh, looks like it's a little bit of a taper, so it looks like it's getting a little shorter on this side than it is on the outer edge, and so too vertically. It's a little higher to my eyes. It looks like a little higher than it is on the bottom. Not sure if that's intentional to kind of reduce wobble on a table. It's possible, but that's a little thing that I noticed. Um, nice little touch. And the back material, Peak Design calls it their can nylon canvas fabric that's weatherproof. So I'm not sure if it's the exact same material that they use on their bags, but there's a very nice soft ridging. So maybe you can hear my fingernails going across it. Uh, really nice, feels good on the skin, feels good on the hand, very, very confident uh, using it. And yeah, I like the case. Uh, as far as the color, it's interestingly a very similar color to the new Apple Watch Ultra's Alpine trail loop in green. So if you have that trail loop, if you're one of those that are trying out the Apple Watch Ultra, the green is very similar. And of course, if you have if you have Peak Design products from before, it's also a very similar green. So yeah, really, really nice case. Um, I know this isn't too much of a technical review going over too many things, so I'm kind of rambling over here, but I'll just mention some other thoughts. Uh, there are a few things that I noticed that um, I would say are kind of downside. So over here, over here on the light, you can see there's a little bit of a depression in the case. So I know there's magnets here to align MagSafe accessories. And I know Peak Design have another case where in this little section, they have a, a little loop to stick your finger through. I think they call it their loop case. So even though this case doesn't have that loop, it looks like there's a little indentation there that kind of, you know, disturbs the smoothness of the back. It's, it's, it's minor, uh, barely noticeable, but in the light, you do kind of see it. Uh, one other thing that kind of concerns me is that the bottom of the case has pretty deep cutouts. So if you're a little OCD, you might notice that the top part of the case is actually a little bit thinner than the bottom of the case. And the reason for that is that Peak Design have included two attachment points for their uh, anchors. Uh, I use that for my camera. I have a few of them lying around. So if you ever wanted to attach uh, a little wrist strap, a lanyard, or even you know a shoulder strap to your phone, to have it hanging around your shoulder, there's two point attachments for that. Uh, but because of that, the bottom of the case is a little bit thicker, and over time, because this these cutouts here are kind of deep inset, I would be kind of concerned that dust and things like that will collect in there. So every case you get that in those little cutouts, you get some grime over the months that require cleaning out, but in, in here, for Peak Design's case, it is a little bit deep. One other potential drawback, not for me obviously because I really like the green sage color over here, but they do only have two color options. So if you're not a fan of the green, they have a charcoal black one, which is kind of a darkish grayish black. Uh, also a very handsome color and a little bit more neutral, but I really like the, the green. I think it goes well with the space black iPhone, kind of matches with this zirconium cutout. Uh, Peak Design have advertised it with a gold iPhone inside, and that is a beautiful look. But of course, you know, I don't have the gold iPhone. Uh, one other minor thing that could be a negative for some that I'll point out, I had put on the screen protector on my phone ahead of time. And as you can see in this video, it is basically precisely cut, cut to the screen protector. There's very little area for movement. So your mileage may vary with screen protectors. It happened to work fine with mine, but there might be some sc screen protectors out there that it'll pop up, especially if you don't have it lined up uh, to where the case is. Peak Design, I saw one of their videos, they do recommend that you apply the case on first before you put on a screen protector so that the screen protector sits around the case. So um, yeah, not too many other drawbacks. Um, and I think that's about it for negatives. I am a big fan so far. You know, I've only had it for about 48 hours, but uh, I wanted to put this video out because I've been so happy with my initial impressions of this case. Uh, the branding is very minimal, the style is really cool, and the price in the US is $39.99. So um, I am 
not a fan at all of Apple silicone cases. I think those are some of the worst cases for the money that you can buy. They look good and feel good initially, but they quickly, the smoothness of those cases quickly wear away. Uh, the edges start to fray, it breaks apart, and it look, they just look like trash very quickly. In contrast, the leather cases, you know, uh, you may or may not like it, but the leather cases get kind of worn. To me, they look kind of nice. If they do fall or scratch, the scratches on the leather to me kind of add a little bit of character. I don't mind it that much. Um, this is now <laughs> maybe my favorite or my second favorite case uh, that I use for my for my iPhone. So um, for the money, I think if you're considering getting a silicone case from Apple for, I think their price is $49.99, I would highly recommend getting this Peak Design one instead for $39.99. And you know, whether you use the accessories or not, if you invest in their accessory ecosystem, they have wallets, they have the bike mounts, um, they, ha they have so many other things. They have like a mobile developer kit. I might look at one of those things because you can attach your phone um, to like a backpack strap or something like that and use it as like a GoPro. So maybe if I'm out on a hike, maybe I'll want something like that to attach my, my phone to. So pretty clever. Um, I, I really like Peak Design as a brand. This is obviously I'm a really small channel. I'm not sponsored by Peak Design or anything like that, but uh, I have confidence in their products. Some of their products are misses. You know, um, I have their, their version one messenger bag that I've had now uh, since it came out, maybe seven years still using it. Oh, by the way, they have a lifetime warranty, so even this case is lifetime warrantied. So I'm curious to see, of course, how the case will hold up over time. You know, in the 48 hours that I've had it, I don't notice any kind of issues. Um, but I'm confident that if there are any issues six months from now, a year from now, I can contact Peak Design and, and they'll take care of it because I have used their warranty in the past. Um, so yeah, fan of their products. Like I said, I have their Everyday Messenger. I did try their Everyday Backpacks. To me, those are a little over-engineered. They're a little bulky, a little heavy, so don't have that. So some of their products are a miss for me, but the Everyday iPhone case, and they have it for some Android phones as well, is a definite hit. So hope that helps some of you out there. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more.